2K just released a gameplay blog for NBA 2K18. There's a link in the description if you want to read it yourself. It's very long. But there is a new motion engine. And according to 2K, when you move around the court now, you're no longer using animations to do that. There's still animations in the game, obviously, but you're not using them for regular movements. The animations in 2K, they look great, but one of the flaws is that a lot of times you get stuck in animation. So with this blog, they're saying your movement is free. Running, jogging, regular movements are not like how they've been in previous 2K. So very interesting, we'll have to see what that means. There's no ghetto footage coming this year. 2K is not at Gamescom. So I don't know when we'll actually get to see if this is true, but this blog is very interesting. They're saying that it's more precise. If you wanna take a step, just one step to the left, you can do that. Whereas in the past, you might take two or three steps. Then they're saying that slower players in the past could be faster than others because they had favorable moving animations. But in this game, that's not gonna be the case because of how precise the movements are with the new motion engine movement with and without the ball is more consistent and predictable than ever in a 2k game now in terms of the shooting 2k has gotten rid of the shot aiming they realized that that was a fail there's also no jump shot timer for layups they realized that that was also a fail and jump shooting is no longer reliant just on timing the release i think this is a good thing some people are going to think this is bad because the community, the style of play, most people are just, you know what, let me get that green. It doesn't matter where I am on the court. I could be in deep three range half court. If I get a green, I want it to go in. 2K is saying no, the release is not the determining factor of if a shot goes in. It's one of them. They have several different factors. The type of shot that you're taking, if a defender's there, if you're open. I think that's the way it should be, but this is gonna be very interesting because the community is divided when it comes to how the shooting should be implemented in the game. Last year, they kind of came out with this style, but once people started complaining, they started patching and tuning the shooting and tweaking it. So who knows what's gonna happen with this, but it's very interesting. So leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I know there's gonna be a lot of varying opinions because that's just how the community is. We all have our view of how the shooting should be in the game. If you have the time, go ahead and click the link in the description and read this full blog for yourself because there's a lot of information. I did not go over everything. Let me know what you think. What a block. Not in my house, Durant says no. Get that cheese out of here. And this was not a good possession. Plenty of time though for the shot clock cheese. Just give it to Durant if you're not open. Look at that, what's that? Oh, splash from way downtown. 